What is Spice? Spice and K2 are one of the many street names for synthetic cannabinoids. Basically, it's dried herbs that are sprayed with research chemicals that attempt to mimic the effects of THC, which is the active ingredient in marijuana or cannabis if you prefer. People use these drugs because they can't get real cannabis or they may be worried about getting drug tested as spice tends to not show up on most drug screens that many companies do. These chemicals were developed to study the effects of THC, specifically since marijuana is still federally illegal. However, these chemicals were never intended for human consumption, are much stronger than regular cannabis, and have a wide variety of harmful and unpredictable effects when taken. What are some of the street names for spice? There's a ton of names out there. Spice, K2, Black Magic, Blaze, Mr. Nice Guy. These are all just a few of the names for synthetic cannabis. These substances are also sold as herbal essences or potpourri with not for human consumption on the package as a legal fig leaf. The chemical makeup of these designer drugs changes constantly as a way to stay a step ahead of law enforcement and other regulations. What are the effects of spice? In theory, synthetic cannabinoids produce effects that are very similar to cannabis. However, because spice is so potent, it's also much easier to feel the negative effects of cannabis, paranoia, anxiety, and even hallucinations. Also, the chemicals found in spice are made in underground laboratories with zero safety or quality procedures. Designer drugs are a crapshoot that may work as advertised, or they may give you seizures. There's just no way to know. Why is spice dangerous? There's no guarantee that spice is what it says it is. A person who takes spice may have an experience similar to cannabis, or they may feel something completely different. Spice has been known to put people into comas and even kill them outright. Again, remember, these chemicals are made in underground labs without any kind of safeguards whatsoever. Spice also appears to be highly addictive as it is far more potent than regular cannabis. Because it's never clear what chemicals are actually in spice, it's a difficult addiction to treat. What are some signs of spice abuse? The signs of spice abuse are similar to that of other drugs. Problems at school and work related to spice abuse, loss of interest in activity in favor of using spice, and so on. However, because of spice's potency and sheer unpredictability, a lot of the signs are very hard to miss, like psychotic behavior, violent behavior, and medical emergencies. What is spice withdrawal like? Spice is an extremely fast-acting drug, and withdrawal can start as soon as the last hit fades. And this is why professional drug detox is highly recommended for spice addiction. The EDGE Treatment Center will help you or a loved one find effective, evidence-based drug detox for spice. It will be in your corner throughout the entire process. Spice is incredibly dangerous, even when compared with other drugs. Please reach out to the EDGE Treatment Center today to learn more about spice addiction treatment and more.